Thanks very much, Steve. This the fastest off the front race, so we'll conclude the meeting slightly reduced race distance. And it's the championship leader, Alex Dunn, but it's a little bit worrying because as I was sitting outside the commentary box watching the end of the touring car race, it starts to get a little bit of rain. These, these guys, of course, know what they're doing. They've got full teams behind them. They've all got out on slicks, but it could turn as it did in the mini race and we could have an issue which might see the race negated. But let's have a look at how they line up for round 12 of the championship. Alex Dunn on pole position with Louis Sharp alongside Georgi Dimitrov next up from Daniel Ginchard, then Aidan Neat and Oliver Gray completing row three. Fourth row, Noah Lyle with Adam Fitzgerald. Then it's Ollie Stewart and Ed Pearson on row five, Eduardo Cossetang and Joel Pearson on the sixth row. Seventh row, Joseph Loke and Michael Shin, Ugo Achuku and Daniel Mavlyatov completing the grid, ready for round 12. Getting ready for the lights out for round 12 of the championship. Last race of the weekend here. Alex Dunn maybe getting a little bit bogged down. Louis Sharp has gone around the outside and the Kiwi has got the lead. And Alex Dunn has been done. He's down in third position here. And it's Louis Sharp looking for his first win who leads them down through Cascades and Dentons for the first time. Ah, well, that was pretty racy, wasn't it? Off the start, great start, straight into the lead. So, yeah, everyone just taking it steady. It was a little bit drizzly, a little bit spitty, uh, but it's all good now. Yeah, absolutely brilliant stuff. And uh, this youngster was in the first round of the championship. They all lock up as they go into the island air bin for the first time, just looking as they all go through. We've got Joel Pearson in the mix as well. He makes up a couple of positions, one of the... Uh, one of the... I think that's the, I was going to say, it's not a high-tech car, is it? Let's, let's come back to that as they go through the chicane now for the first time. The back of the field, Daniel Mavliotov. So, their way through. It was one of the Virtuosi racing cars, so it must have been, uh, must have been Pearson, because Shin obviously was in the pit lane. So, here is Joel Pearson going down the inside. And bang, it was into that number three car, which is Ed Pearson. Punch her straight Got there away. in the end. Yeah. Punch her straight away, right rear. That's why he slowed so fast. But uh, yeah, Joel just just a bit late on the brakes there. He's looking not to get rid of his front wing. And uh, Joel Pearson's still going okay in the 29, and he's going to lose another place now as he goes in deep. No, he's uh, got it all straightened up, and he's away. They're going to be a little bit threatened by this youngster. This guy in the 11 car wasn't old enough to race at the first round. Only joined the championship at event two because his birthday was in between. They're very strict on those rules, and he came in. He's had thirds, he's had seconds, and he could be on his way here to a win, and it's the fastest off the front, not a reverse grid race. Yeah. Some impressive teams in this championship, and you speak about Argenti, and that's actually run by a very good friend of mine there, Michael Meadows, yeah. and Michael was a fantastic driver in his own right. He's got very good people uh, in his team, and I tell you, he's only a, he's only a youngish guy, and he's doing a great job, like his dad does, uh, still at Mercedes-Benz F1, I think, and Ron Meadows. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, of course, there, there's that Mercedes link, isn't there, with Daniel Ginchard being on the uh, junior team roster as well. And there is Ginchard in the 49 car, who at the moment here is going for another rookie win. He's in the rookie championship down behind Ugo Achuku. Ginchard second. Ollie Stewart is actually third in the rookies. And Ollie Stewart here, again, he's chipping away. If we can look at the seventh place cars, things are a little bit settled. The Ollie Stewart, the young Scott, top Carter had a very late deal to come into the championship and he's just been getting better and better and better chipping away bit by bit I know that's what his sponsors want him to do his best result coming into this meeting was eighth and he's up in seventh place again Ollie Stewart second in the rookies great progress that's what he's hoping for I know it's what his, his mum and dad are hoping for and his sponsors are wanting as well uh, and he, he's really getting there. Didn't have as much testing as many of the drivers, but performing real well. Joseph Loke trying to close in on his teammate Noah Lyle. Now the car at the front of that little battle, the young Aussie between Thruxton and here actually went back home to Australia. I said, why would you just go back for a, a couple of days in between? And he was to sort out visas, so it was an oh, really? absolutely necessary visit. What, credit the youngster. I think so, yeah. <laughs> that's what he said, yeah. <laughs> Probably is if it's anything to do with racing. I was going to say, yeah, that's never good, is it? That's never good. I tell you, I'm well impressed by by a front crew, though. I mean, the, there's a 10th here, a 10th there, uh, Dimitron trying to catch Sharp up, but they're just controlling that gap just beautifully. And 
and that's what you want to see when you're a junior driver and uh, and, uh, and the world's eyes are on you because we are the best in the UK and um, any motorsport in my opinion and the top dogs come looking at these kind of formulas and it's good to see that they're just learning their trade in front of our very eyes. Louis Sharp it is that is leading this one and are we going to see a first win for the Kiwi just 15 years of age he's in Carlin so he's you know picked a very good team him and his dad living over here in Richmond but the fastest lap the Motol fastest lap goes to Alex Dunn the championship leader wow the Dunster is on it I tell you what this ain't over that 22 the championship leader he's green in the first sector he was oh that could scupper things for him nightmare for Stewart oh that's a shame now that's my fault for picking him up about being in seventh and keep getting those results but he'll take away the fact that he was there so who's that going to move up into the points a Chuku gets the championship point but it's the Chuku's teammate who is going to take the win here at all part by the look of it Louis Sharp who missed the first round he was at the first round he was watching he was involved in the team seeing how the team operate seeing what his colleagues can do and he comes through dear leap and believe me this is a, a very different circuit to what he would otherwise be used to and he takes the win the carlin boys are delighted sharp wins dimitrov an excellent second done third and fastest lap a great meeting for Ginchard, who finishes in fourth place ahead of Aidan Neat, and Ollie Gray, knocking on the door of second in the championship, completes the top six. I think the impressive thing for me is just the way these kids go about their, uh, their business. So fair play to them, and that was a great win, Sean. Really good win for him. Uh, another win to add to the F4 Cannon. What a great championship this is turning out to be, and the racing exceeded expectations here today. Louis Sharp wins round 12 of the Rocket F4 British Championship, certified by FIA. Georgie Dimitrov, a great second place for JHR. Alex Dunn, the championship leader, comes home in third from Daniel Ginchard. Aidan Neat, fifth from Ollie Gray, and then Eduardo Cossetang from Noah Lyle. Then uh, Noah Lyle, incidentally, second in the rookie championship. Joseph Loke takes ninth. Ugo Achuku, third in the rookies and rounds out the top ten. Eleventh goes to Adam Fitzgerald, ahead of Joel Pearson. Michael Shin, good recovery from that pit lane start. Thirteenth, ahead of Daniel Mavliotov. And there were problems, sadly, in the race for Oliver Stewart and Edward Pearson. Next up, of course, is Croft in North Yorkshire and... When we arrive at Croft, the championship looks like this. Alex Dunn, the championship leader by 68 points. Oliver Gray has got into second position now, ahead of Hugo Achuku, his teammate. Aidan Neat in fourth from Louis Sharp. Daniel Ginchard in sixth, then Georgie Dimitrov, Joseph Loke, Eduardo Cossetang and Michael Shin in tenth. Rookie championship, Achuku still at the head of the standings, but just seven points now separating him and Daniel Ginchard. Ollie Stewart in third. Adam Fitzgerald fourth from Noah Lyle and Daniel Mavliotov.